I want to talk about attention and, and giving away your attention as a man, as a high value man, because that's all I talk about and deal with. I don't deal with the nonsense and the scumbags. If you're a high value man and you have a lot to offer the world, why are you wasting your attention on a female that's just bringing you down? Because her job nowadays with these new movements is feminism and all this social interaction. Her new job is to take away your value. And once your value is lowered, you are, you are no longer going to contribute to society what you are supposed to do. You're not going to fulfill your purpose if your value is taken away. If you're giving attention to your wife, right? And she's not uplifting you as the king, the palace is going to go down. The king has to be uplifted for the palace to go up. But because she feel like she's equal to you or better than you with this feminism stuff and all this nonsense in her head, she's actually taking you down. She's bringing your value down. And now you're putting all your attention to, in her. And now your palace is crumbling. In another five, ten years of that marriage, your whole kingdom is gone. And now you have to start over because you done split the kingdom in half. She took half of your kingdom and now you got offsprings that she's milking you with. And now you're not a king no more. That's what's going on out here. Men are losing their value. High value men are losing their value to women that don't mean them any good. Because they're selfish and they're only trying to uplift themselves through this feminism stuff. So when you spend all your attention on a female like that in the long run you will lose yeah i'm in the gully i'm not in the gully i'm actually uptown and i'm walking it's one o'clock in the morning walking home from work i want to exercise i want to uplift myself in certain ways but you're uplifting yourself in the wrong way by letting your woman bring you down she's not your equal she's supposed to uplift the king She's the queen. She's supposed to play her position. If she's not playing her position, then she's throwing everything off. She's the enemy. And that's what the, the, the uh, system has created in our woman. It has created another distraction for us and another enemy for us to fight. We have too many enemies. We don't need our women to be our enemies. We need our women to fight with us and protect us and guide us and, and, and make sure we are at 100%. Nurture us understand but they're not doing that because they have something else they have an agenda that's been put inside of them by the system and you have to recognize these women and cut them off because you're the king you have a selection you're high value why are you chasing this low value demon why get rid of her i don't care if she's your wife cut her off we don't have no time we need our valuable men to be most valuable players in the game this is a war. This is a war. And all our men are lost. Because our women ain't up. up and, and like I said, I'm talking about the dudes that's progressive, not the dudes that's doing all the bullshit. Because there's a lot of dudes out there just as worse as these broads. And I'm talking about the valuable men that's investing their time, energy, and resources in women trying to uplift women that haven't uplifted themselves. Get, get with the program. You have value. You're an MVP. Cut her off. Carry on.